Well, let's talk about setting up operations for success when building a diverse workforce. Let's talk about some best practices. We mentioned a few things, a, a common one that I think came up in some of the examples is how to make work visual. That's certainly something that mm -hmm. we see because visuals span across languages, right? That's one of the things that we focus on at Parsible. One of the major use cases is providing work instructions so that you know what tasks you need to complete, but also providing the how to complete that particular task. Now, and, and this is true for not just different cultures, but different generations as well. Millennials and Gen Z, we don't want to read a ton of text. We're YouTube videos, yes. TikTok yeah. videos. So how can you embed visuals that communicate how to perform Let's say in this example, it's a clean inspect lubricate process. So this is how you address this part of the machine. Here's specifically where you need to look. And you've got that video that walks you through that can then be used across languages. Videos are a great way to do visuals because if you've got something you're just showing, you can put music in the background and then it doesn't matter what language somebody speaks, everybody can watch it. Now, if you do have something that takes language, you can do subtitles. If you script it out, all you have to do is translate the script and then the video editor can put those across the bottom of the screen. And people are used to reading subtitles. That's part of the millennial Gen Z thing. You're so used to watching videos when you're trying not to make noise <laughs> that people are accepting subtitles a lot more now. If you hire a voiceover person to do it, you've got to do the translation. And then you also have to hire a person, get them to do the audio file and then match the audio file to the video. So it's a lot more complex.